Hi there, today we're unboxing a Philips Hue dimmer switch. So details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes in a small compact box. The actual dimmer switch is just behind this plastic here. It's actually an accessory to the actual Philips Hue system. Now coming around the side here, dim your Hue lights it says. Image of someone dimming it and some details here and it's multi-language as well and it says it has a distance of 12 meters has the dimensions of the switch and the fact it takes a CR2450 battery so let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging okay so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging so let me quickly go through the items one by one so two pieces of paperwork there one has details on how to set this up and it's multi-language and the other one is safety information regarding the product now the only other thing is obviously the dimmer switch so it can be separated from this plate just to show and has branding at the bottom size wise let me bring my ruler in so it comes in height wise a little bit over 11 centimeters by 7 centimeters and thickness wise it's just a little bit over half a centimeter now looking on the back you've got different methods of mounting this so first one is a sticky pad there and there and you can literally just stick it straight onto a wall and then you're done the other way would be just to pop this up and then screw it onto a wall so this plate comes up let me try pulling it up and there you go popped off so you just screw it in and then place this back on and then once you've attached it that's it now those two round things there are magnets so if I bring the dimmer switch in close it just sticks straight on so literally hold it upside down it still doesn't pop off so it's just a plate to literally just put the remote on now the remote itself very compact as you can see easily fits in the palm of my hand and size wise this is nine centimeters by three and a half by one centimeter so very nice and compact very light as well in feel and at the bottom you've got a plastic piece you pull off and that obviously initiates the battery so that's separating the battery so the battery's not on now I've pulled it out the battery should be active now and then you've got a screw there as well if you needed to replace the battery just unscrew it pop this off and you can replace it simple as that so build wise feels okay all plasticky glossy white finish to it so four buttons on off and bright and dim let's make a start at setting up the dimmer switch so very straightforward there's two connectivity options available first one is you could run it standalone connecting directly to a bulb the second one is you'd require internet access and it connects to the hub the advantage of using the hub is you can connect to it via the internet remotely but if you connected it directly to the bulb only then you're only going to be able to use it in your property with the actual remote in hand so let me do the first option of connecting it without the hub so directly to the light bulb now what you need to do if you haven't already done it pull out the plastic tag at the back and that will enable the battery in there next all you need to do is point it at the light and hold on to the button and there you go it's flashed and it's on and you see it flashing in the corner now if I turn it on it's turned on press off if I turn it on again brighten it up and then I can dim it down and again I can turn it off and turn it on and what it does it remembers its last setting so if I do turn it off when it's full bright turn it on it's bright again so very simple to set up literally pull the tag press the button and that's it you're done now one of the things to note if you have paired up the dimmer switch to work directly with the bulb what's going to happen you're going to lose connectivity from the bulbs to the hub so you won't be able to remotely connect to the bulb and use the routines that you have available via the actual hub so all the smart stuff you'd really want so just to prove this if I go to the Hue app here, if I now initiate a turn off, nothing happens. So one of the things to note, if you do go for that option, that's more of a standalone option just for the bulb to work with a dimmer switch. 
So now we've tested this, what we want to do is really reset this dimmer switch now. So if I bring in a pin into the back here, hold on to that for a moment, And what happens is a light will start flashing. It says you only need to hold it on for one second, but that's not the case. I found you've got to hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then it flashes. You let go, flashing away, and that unlinks it from the bulb. So if I now press it, nothing happens. So we're now in a position, we're ready to set this up via the hub. But before we do that, let's get this bulb connected back onto the hub. So for that to happen, if I know, now go to light setup, you can see it's unreachable, we'll delete it, and then add light, add the serial number, that helps as well. So that's just below, up here, on the light. So there you go, it's now picked up the light and if I click on there you can see it's connected and there's no errors there. If I come back from there, let's add it onto this room, tick it there, it's available now, it's on there and if I go back you can see the room, turn it off. Simple as that to get added back in. Now if we go to settings, we go to accessory setup, we can see configure hue accessories, we can say add accessory, we can say hue dimmer switch, and these are the options. So you'd like to connect a hue dimmer switch that hasn't been used with lights before or re was reset. Your hue dimmer switch is already used to control lights or was packaged with lights. So we'll go for option one, obviously we've reset it, more of a cleaner setup, and now it's saying pull the plastic tag out, Okay, so as the tag's been pulled out already, we'll just press this for a moment to just get it flashing. There you go, light's flashing. And let's give it a moment, see if it picks it up. So there you go, now it's saying, hooray, you successfully connected the Hue dimmer switch. Now simply select where you will use it. So living room, as there's only one set up, and we'll click set up, and there you go, it's set up now. If I go back, go back to home, and now, should in theory turn on, there you go. Simple as that. And as you can see on the app as well, you can see that turning on, and if I now dim it down, there you go, you see that moving along as well. It's as simple as that to get set up via the app. Next, in the Hue app, if we go to settings and go back to accessory setup, we can see the dimmer switch in there. So it's called living room switch. If I click on that, you can see the name that's given there. You can rename it if you wanted to. Next, if I click the buttons, you can see down here, just here, the, the action it will perform. So that's on button, then you've got dim up button, then you've got dim down button, and then you've got off button. Okay, coming down, room, that's the room where it's located in, so it's in the living room. Next, it's the presses that have occurred. So, first press, it shows, and then second press, it shows, etc. And next, you've got a reset and a delete option as well. Next, let me show the options available within an iPhone. So, just to prove the point that they're exactly the same, so if I go to the Philips Hue app here, starts up and you're presented with your living room like before and again you can do the same things like turning your light on and off and if I come into here go to accessory setup and you can see the dimmer switch in there as well and again with the same options as you saw on Android. So no different for setting up for an Android phone or even an Apple iPhone. Okay so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Philips Hue dimmer switch there's a nice bit of functionality here, the fact you can dim your light from a dimmer switch, the fact it can work standalone and connect to a light directly or work via the hub so you can continue using the light bulb as you normally do to remotely connect to it. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone attempting to configure one of these. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.